Hello again and welcome back to Money Mentor channel where today we're going to look at uh, Hargreaves Lansdowne um, share price forecast. Hargreaves Lansdowne is a online money management service really where personal investors, private investors um, invest their cash in SIPs, stocks and shares, ICEs etc um, on the Hargreaves platform. So similar services to the likes of Fidelity and II and AJ Bell etc. Right so we'll take a little look at the um, this company on the Stockopedia service. Uh, click on the right hand link if you want to try Stockopedia for free for a couple of weeks. Um, see how you get on. Right, the stock, stock rank is actually saying 56. So this is looks like it's out of favour at the moment. Um, and when we take a look at the uh, graph over there, which we will in a minute, we can probably see why. So with a market cap of 6.3 billion, an enterprise value of 5.8, it's, uh, it's not carrying any debt. In fact, it's got some excess cash. Uh, on its books somewhere, which isn't surprising for these sorts of companies. Um, it's in the lower lower quarter of the FTSE 100, um, as you can see, slightly up to date. So the one year trend is very, very visually and clearly um, in a downward direction. Uh, historically, it was a really good performing share for a while, um, maybe a bit further, maybe a bit further ago. Yeah, so I remember it had a, a very good um, trend upwards from all the way back well, in 2017 now for a period of a year, year and a half, um, all the way up here. And then actually it's done not very much other than go down recently. So certainly the last year has been negative for holders who have uh, lost capital value on it. Um, and I don't know whether that looks like it's set to improve. So just looking at a few quick metrics, as we always do, we can see it's 25% below its 52 week high. So it's lost a quarter of its value in this year alone. Got price earnings ratio of 22.9, so that's telling us it's uh, it's not particularly good value. It's expensive, uh, and a price to book value of 10.6 is also showing as uh, poor value for the industry. That said, it is saying it's a qual it's a good quality business. It is turning um, cash, so with returns on capital and equity in the near 60 and 50 percent, and an operating margin of 58 percent, very very good indeed. Um, it is a cash generative business, which we will see when we look at the uh, financial summary. Health trend six, so not too bad, not not overly impressive. Um, to be fair, there's been some higher scores on uh, previous uh, reviews we've done this morning. Uh, we'll take a little look at the metrics here, so we can see steadily growing business um, as its assets under management um, grow. Effectively, Hargreaves charges about 0.45% um, on people's um, investments. So as more people invest, they get more money. As the value of their investments grow, they get more money. So it's uh, it's it's quite sick. Um, it's quite um, it's certainly linked to the stock market growth. You know, the more the more value people have in their um, in their investment portfolios, the more Hargreaves will get. So you can see it's a good, strong upward trend. Um, it probably wouldn't look like that if the stock market was going in the other direction. Um, but uh, that's where we are with that operating profit. In fact, if we just come down to the net profit to strip out all the uh, costs, we can see 2020 was actually a very good year for them. Um, you'll possibly recall that online stocks and share services and Hargreaves in particular all benefited from lockdown. The, the um, six months that people were all stuck at home, um, they decided to uh, start share trading. Um, and so Hargreaves and Fidelity and II were all beneficiaries of that increase. You can see the 21 uh, 21 figures looks like it's come off a little bit and certainly the projection for 22 estimate uh, is down even further. So it's actually declining in regards to the bottom line net profit figure. Turning down to the actual dividends, yeah, they pay modest dividends. So two or three percent. Uh, the boss of uh, the boss of Hargreaves, Mr. Hargreaves himself, likes to get a dividend payout um, every so often. So uh, he, uh, he he does he does ensure there's a dividend to be paid. That said, it's not particularly strongly pay uh, covered here. Dividend cover 1.6 and falling to 1.2, 1.2. That's pretty much the danger zone. You need to do your due diligence on that as to whether they can maintain that. They won't be able to um, do a great deal of uh, other investments or acquisitions or anything with such a small amount of free cash available on those margins. So it's possible they could be trimmed in the future. So uh, make sure you dig a little bit deeper on due diligence if you are choosing to do those. Net debt, negative. So it's actually holding cash. Uh, we can see the cash store they've got there is building up. So they do have a good cash to, uh, uh, to to perhaps pay dividends as and when uh, the, their own earnings for that year are a little bit low. So that is actually a really good graph showing they are hoarding the cash even though they're paying dividends. 
Uh, finally, we'll look at the average shares, 475 across the board, neither being diluted nor added to in any way. So your earnings per share, you know, is pretty solid. It's the, it's the, it's the same and it's not been watered down with, uh, with share issuances. Uh, we come down to the analysis, 16 brokers covering them. Uh, it's moved up marginally in the last three months from a hold slightly slightly more towards a buy, although the trend is still certainly trending downwards, as we can see. Uh, and the forecasts, the uh, the price forecasts in the coming future are 16.72, so suggesting 26% above where we are now. Um, bearing in mind, 26% above where we are now is the 52-week high, uh, pretty much identical. So what it's saying is it thinks it will get to somewhere in the region of 17.50. Uh, overall. So is uh, Hargreaves Lansdowne in your portfolio or was it in your portfolio? Do let us know in the comments below what your thoughts are on Hargreaves um, and as always we'll return uh, comments as soon as we can and respond to you as soon as we can. If you're not um, a member of our community already then please subscribe and hit the bell to uh, get updated uh, when we do future uh, future videos in this series. Thanks again for watching.